in Tibetan tradition we call nyam. Nyam means experiences, you know, so it's typically narrowed down into three. They call Tongbi Nyam, Salvi Nyam, Devi Nyam. So uh, the experiences of emptiness, ex experiences of clarity, experiences of the warmth, warmth. So, and these are like a basic, basic words, basic experiences, but each one they have mo m many different character of uh, experiences. So, so when whatever experiences arises like this, as you're more relating toward spaciousness and you feel whatever is arising, as you're saying, whatever arising is coming from there, it's very true that when you usually, like whatever arising, for example, like a sense of joy or warmth, um, in order to arise from that, that space in which the warmth arises, it's blocked. There's a sense of like a sadness or a disappointment, anger, whatever is there, it's kind of blocking. By resting, by resting, 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 it opens up, and then from there, it arises. So space does give more sense of arising. But they all three are very closely related to each other is no in a way in an ultimate sense there's no distinction between three but as when you access it there is a the differences in the experiences taste is a little different but the core is there's no difference silence like that space is completely silent every meaning of silence is in that space every meaning of stillness is in that space imagine space doesn't move Right? As far as the real sense of stillness is the space. It never moves. It doesn't change. The move in a sense of not only moving like a furniture moving, but changing in time, changing, aging, uh, declining, increasing, uh, expanding, uh, narrowing, and none of those concepts, it's valid for the, to the space. It's valid, it makes more sense to the form and conditions, but not to the space. The space is the most stillness. That is exactly the reason, yeah. So sometime when we, when we experience our nature of mind, when we, ex when we realize our nature of mind, and when we experience that particular aspect of the nature of mind, which is the space, and specific characteristic of that space, which is changelessness, then when you, when you realize that quality there, then you, it, it affects you. Like you eat a chocolate uh, cake or something, when you feel the chocolate, mm, the specific taste, it affects you. When you feel the sugar, it affects you. When you feel the cream, it affects you. There's a taste are different in the same thing. So whenever you feel the space, for example, this is my experience and my understanding, is the idea of development of confidence, how you develop confidence. Of course, people can talk about people trying to convince, people trying to support, people trying to say, go for it, cheer it up. You know, and then you feel okay, okay, like that. That those kind of confidence typically people do that. But in this teaching, those confidence are not lasting confidence. You know, if there's, if you need five person to cheer it up, one person miss, your confidence is gone. <laughs> right? You need five people to cheer it up. Right? So it's dependent on things. But when you have a glimpse of experience of that space, what does that space do? It, you feel like a sense of changelessness. Nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to lose anything if that's my concern. I'm not going to become smaller if that's my concern. So, why have to be afraid? Why have to be sad? Why have to be worried? So that that particular experience changes, I think, it changes like an inner uh, structure of psychology, our psychology, you know, like uh, perspective changes. So.